Hey guys, welcome into a, another stock portfolio update. <clears throat> On the stocks here, we are down $2,966 this week, uh, leaving us with $13,233 in total profits since I first started investing in the stock market. Obviously, that leaves my cost basis at $43,000. These are my positions here. It's, uh, sort them. <laughs> yeah, they're not looking so hot at the moment. There's a lot of red, about half-half split, red to green. Uh, yeah, still up $13,000 though, so a lot of realized gains within the account. Well, within the uh, multiple accounts, obviously, this Yahoo Finance portfolio is built or put together uh, my Shearsies, Hatch, and Interactive Brokers account. Uh, yeah, Shearsies is down at the moment for our maintenance, which is inconvenient. Uh, but that's alright. I guess it is the weekend. It's the most convenient time to do ma maintenance. Um, yeah, not, not a lot really interesting happening in the stock market this week, uh, not to me anyway. Um, there's a couple of stocks in, at a good buy price, although I don't have any money to go buying any. Uh, Planet 13, Corsair Gaming, are probably the best two at the moment that I'd be looking at buying. Uh, but as always, this is not a financial advice, just uh, my opinion and sharing what I'm doing in the market. Um, yeah, having a look at crypto, a couple of things going on in crypto at the moment. So there was recently, you know, there's been that uh, dip in crypto or correction in crypto caused by China banning all cryptocurrencies. And today we've had a bit of a rebound from that. So we're up 8.2% today. Uh, it has been up a bit higher uh, earlier in the day. Uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum were both up 10%. Uh, so they've come down a bit from that now, but they're definitely doing very well. Um, yeah, Ravencoin, that's the one that I'm going to be looking at mining, so up 15% for the day, so that's pretty awesome. And Ethereum, the other one that I'm going to be mining, or that I am mining currently, um, 3,286. I do most of my mining calculations at Ethereum 3,000, so... Uh, if it's anything above that, that's good for me on the mining front. Um, more mining stuff here. Uh, obviously, still doing the same Ethereum mining from my computer as shown before. This is just on my uh, computer. Obviously, you can see it's at 1070, and you can see I'm getting, at the moment, 25 roughly mega hash. But when I'm not recording, you know, I'm getting... 27 and a half looks like 27.78 fairly common uh, due to overclocks and all that uh, and I've also set up a mining rig with uh, just currently one GPU in it which is mining Ravencoin and it's got 28.33 mega hash uh, managed to you know adjust some of the settings and uh, yeah get it to 28 mega hash with 164 watts. I might be able to adjust it even further, but I just wanted to get like a good baseline to go with to start with. I don't know if I'll be able to get it any better, but I'll probably give it a go as I get more comfortable with how this rig and this GPU is working because. This GPU is like brand new out of the box, so I yeah haven't really used it at all yet. Um, it'll be interesting to see like how much I actually get paid for this. I've only set this up today, so uh, I believe this specific pool that I'm using is going to take a little while for a payout, maybe one to three days. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how long that takes. Uh, big red cross just there, that's awesome, my internet's down. Uh, that does keep happening, which is rather annoying. Um, I've got, like, you can see in here, where it goes down to zero. I believe that's due to the Wi-Fi cutting out. 
but uh, yeah, the connection that I have here is uh, pretty bad. Uh, and apparently it's going to show my IP on screen. I hope no one's looking at that. Um, yep, so one reg offline. Lovely. Um, get that back online soon, hopefully, when the Wi-Fi comes back up. Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah, I plan to add more GPUs to this rig. Just wanted to get it set up and tested with one first. I'll be putting out some more videos on the GPU mining. So if you are interested in that, you know, check out those videos. Uh, and with crypto having a great day, it, uh, it's doing pretty well. Hopefully it's a positive connotation towards the future of crypto mining. But uh, we'll see with that. I'm pretty much like risking quite a bit on uh, the whole crypto mining thing having to put up a few thousand dollars you know I've spent uh, probably two and a half thousand so far and I'll need to spend another bit over five thousand to get the rig fully done if I go with the fully with the 3060 Ti LHR models uh, which I'd be only mining Ravencoin on if I yeah so if I fully went with them five and a bit thousand more dollars and it's quite a risk because the risk is that uh, mining becomes no longer profitable. Uh, for example, uh, if uh, Ravencoin doesn't go up enough before the next halving, or there's too many miners on the pool, or Ravencoin price drops or something, and mining becomes unprofitable, combined with the fact that Ethereum is going to proof of stake instead of proof of work, could cause a lot like a big sell-off of um crypto mining equipment uh if there's a sell-off of crypto mining equipment and i'm still able to mine ravencoin then it's fine because i can just hold it mine ravencoin um but uh, yeah if if i'm not able to mine ravencoin and everything sells off then i obviously can't sell the equipment not that i really want to plan for selling it but essentially if I was having to sell it because it was no longer profitable. I wouldn't be able to sell it for anything. So it would be a 100% loss on my investment. But with great risk comes great gain. I could potentially pay off the entire rig in as little as 200 days. Uh, if, you know, Ravencoin went up to 20 cents. So uh, high risk, high reward. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. Um, Another thing to mention on China banning cryptocurrencies, currencies, uh, they're also banning all activity related to it. So they are now banning Alibaba from selling mining equipment, which is interesting. There goes all the cheap mining equipment. Uh, I don't know how many people actually buy from Alibaba or AliExpress, but uh, I guess we'll find out. They'll probably be some some sort of uh, backlash from all of that but the you know there's going to be a, a lot of uh, activity at the moment with China banning all cryptocurrencies anyway it'll be interesting to see how that all unfolds uh, it'll probably happen over the next few weeks and months so you know we'll watch out for that see what happens hopefully there'll be some cheap secondhand GPUs in the market <laughs> maybe I could get my 3060 Ti's uh, second hand for a cheap probably not they'll probably <laughs> probably won't sell them anywhere that I'm looking but uh, yeah it would be pretty good if I could actually get my hands on some would be pretty happy with that but yeah I doubt it will happen um, yeah I'll put some more videos out on mining hopefully tomorrow and that's pretty much all I have for today's portfolio update um, yeah, stocks were pretty uneventful this week, and cryptos, yeah, having a pretty good day today, uh, hopefully continues into next week, and we get a recovery in stocks, low cap, uh, sorry, small caps are getting pretty, uh, low on the valuations, so that's always good for buying some small cap stocks, like Gorsia Gaming, or Smart Air Club, or Planet 13, 
Uh, Planet 13, I'd say, is probably the best buy at the moment for me, but as always, not financial advice. Anyway, thanks for watching this weekly portfolio update. Have a great day. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.